Hello friends, this is the summary of the poem The Priest by Arun Kolatka. Arun Balakrishna Kolatka was an Indian poet who wrote in Marathi and English. His first collection of English poetry, Jejuri, won Commonwealth Poetry Prize. He has also won Sahitya Academy Award. He was a graphic designer too. And his poem brought about an impact on popular writers like Nizam Ejikal and Salman Rushdie. Let us get into the summary of the priest. The priest, this is how the priest sits on the cold altar of the culvert wall for a bus. So the priest here is waiting for the bus. He is sitting on his heel and haunch. He is squatted on the culvert wall. So the, this is the culvert wall that you see in the picture. It has some uh, tunnel kind of a thing in which the water passes through. So he is waiting for the bus sitting on a culvert wall. As the priest waits for the bus, a million thoughts run through his mind. So he wonders if the bus a little late, will there be a Puran Poli in his plate? So the Puran Poli is a rich a sweet which is made in uh, Maharashtra. It's a very popular sweet dish. The priest, so the priest wonders, will he be able to make enough money in the temple that day that as he returns home, he can eat a Puran Poli. Uh, he can make a Puran Poli or buy a Puran Poli and eat it. He wonders, will he be able to make more money that day? With a quick intake of testicles, at the touch of the rough cut dew drenched stone, so sitting in the same position for a long time makes him feel very uncomfortable and he turns his head in the sun to look at the long road winding out of sight with the eventlessness on the fortune line on a dead man's palm. So the poet turns his head in the sun and what he sees is a long road which is going on and on out of his sight. This long winding road is compared to the fortune line on a dead man's palm. So reading fortune line on a dead man's palm is meaningless as he is already dead and no more events in his life are going to arise. So similarly, this long road winding out of sight, the road is leading nowhere uh, without any events. So this long road is compared to a fortune line on a dead man's palm. The sun take up the brief head. The sun is very bright and pats his cheek familiarly like the village barber. So the sun is compared to a village barber. So the sun pats his cheek. So it's very hot that day and priest waits in the hot sun for the bus. The bit of beetle nut turning over and over on his tongue is a mantra. It works. So the priest chews beetle nut, that is the pan supari, as he waits for uh, for the bus. And the way he chews, he uh, chants some mantra also, without understanding the spiritual meaning of the mantra. So, but it works. The bus is no more just a thought in his head; it's now a dot in the distance. So, from a thought, the bus has come to a visibility. The poet, the priest, is able to. See the bus at a long distance. It looks like a dodge to him and under his lazy lizard stare, it begins to grow slowly like a watch upon his nose. So the bus here coming closer is compared to the growing watt upon the priest's nose. And the way priest stares at the long winding road is compared to a lazy lizard stare. So the poet sits lazily on the culvert wall and he waits for the bus and he, and he stares very lazily at the long winding road. Now the buses can be seen at a distance and it looks like a tiny dot. With a thud and a bump, the bus takes a pothole as it rattles past the priest and paints his eyeballs blue. Now the bus is very closer to the priest, it rattles past the priest and it makes the priest happy. The bus goes round in a circle. It stops inside the bus station and stands purring softly in front of the priest. So the bus here is compared to a catch. It goes round in a circle and it stops inside the bus station in front of the 
feast. A cat grin on his face and a life ready to eat pilgrim held between its teeth. So here the bus is compared to having a cat grin on his face. A cat grin is a big smile because we are happy with ourselves. The bus is said to be very happy carrying pilgrims of different backgrounds and different status. All are equal inside this bus. So there are many pilgrims who are going towards the common goal of pilgrimage. So a detailed summary is given here. So this poem is a satirical about uh, pilgrimage and religion. The poet feels many, especially the religious heads, consider religion as a way to make fast and easy money. The theme of the poem is direct attack on the religious heads. The poet also uses several symbols throughout the poem. Like poor and poly is compared to the amount of money that is going to make the day. The bus comparing, coming nearer is compared to a growing wart on the priest's nose. The way his eyes are fixed on the bus route is compared to a lizard's chair. The sun is compared to the village barber. And then the bus itself is personified as having a cat grin on its face which carries all the pilgrims irrespective of their status. So the poet concludes the poem by personifying the bus which carries pilgrims who are going towards the common goal. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Please do like and subscribe. And if you need any specific summaries, please leave a comment so that I can work towards the same. Thank you.